Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bomb and on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, money team. This is Matt Money Shot, sniffing out the college cheese as always. In today's video, I'm using a brand new team because I got a brand new offense that, in my opinion, is the most explosive offense in the entire game and one of the hardest offenses to stop. So it doesn't matter that I'm using a much worse team than my opponent. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. And if you guys need more help or more money plays, you can download any of my eBooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pin comment. I already got Georgia's offense and defense out, as well as Alabama's offense and defense out in today's gameplay i'm going to be using the sam houston bearcats and we're going against one of the best teams in the entire game in a 90 overall oklahoma sooners but this offense is so good that none of that's going to matter now i first want to give you guys a little bit of background information on how i found this because i didn't just decide one day to go into sam houston's playbook this was actually requested by somebody from my patreon community and that's because of my patreon if you sign up for a certain tier i allow you to pick a playbook and i'll build you a scheme out of it and that's exactly how this offense came about but the truth is I like this offense so much that I told him in that video as well as everybody on my community tab and my Patreon when I posted it that I was most likely going to start using this offense. But since you can't switch playbooks in the road to college football playoffs, that means I'm going to have to use the Sam Houston team against some of the best teams in the game in the Heisman division. And I know I've put out videos with a lot of other tier 4 teams, but this one is easily the worst. At least they have a quarterback though that has 85 speed, which I will need to run around with quite a bit. They have a decent running back at a 92 speed, 80 overall gentry. But what makes this team Team livable is the fact that they do have a 97 speed receiver which is pretty much going to probably be the most important player on my offense but other than that this roster is pretty bad my opponent starts off with the ball on offense first and if you need a visual representation of how much better his team is all you need to do is look at this play as it probably should have been an interception or a knockout or at the very least a tackle but instead it results in all my defenders getting knocked to the ground and him going to the house for the score what the hell was that and this was only the first play of the game but i promise you it's going to happen a lot more Damn it! The name of the offensive formation that I'm going to show you guys today, which is obviously my new favorite offense, is the Trio Unbalanced. But before people ask me in the comment section, the name and custom playbook section is going to be the Trio Y Over. Now, this is a very good rushing offense as long as you make sure to have one inside run play and one outside run play in your audibles. My recommendations are going to be the 01 Trap, as well as the speed option for outside runs. There's also a play that really gives you the best of both worlds in the QB slot option. So I try to make sure that I have access to all three run plays at all times. I recently broke down the QB QB slot option in another video called my four most unstoppable college football plays. So if you guys want to see more information on how to run this play properly or more plays just like it, I'll have links at the end of the video on screen. So stick around for that. The two pass plays that are non-negotiable though are going to be the verticals as this play here is a one play touchdown against every single zone coverage in the game. So you want to make sure you always have this in your audible plays as well as the fake screen wheel as this is going to be a one play touchdown against every man coverage in the game. So you can run this offense very easily as long as you can tell the difference between man and zone. Now the reads for this offense are very easy as the first thing you're going to want to do every single time is look at your bunch and see how many defenders are in front of your bunch receivers. Since I have three receivers, if I have less than three defenders, I know that's a zone coverage. It's really that simple. But since I'm squished against a hash mark like this, I don't really want to run any zone plays. The next read is going to be your box, as we have basically six blocking linemen on every single play, including the tight end. So if my opponent has six or less, you can run the ball every single time. And since I was running out of time from setting up my audible plays, I just ran the inside zone. You can see how easily I get nine yards, even though he had six in the box. But I didn't get a chance to fully set up my audibles as we get a flag on the next play for delay a game. 
before I go right back to the trap play, which like I said, I find is a much better audible since it takes me a lot of times away from the inside linebacker towards the bunch. But there are a lot of other really good plays like the halfback swing that I just like to mix in to keep my opponent off balance. As this play really only works against zone and doesn't get a ton of yards, but like I said, it's really good to keep your opponent looking in the backfield. On second and six though, I read what looks like man coverage, so I go to the fake screen wheel. And for this play, all you really have to do is put this RB receiver on a post, and both of these receivers will be man coverage but when the play starts it sees actually in a zone so i just take the check down in the smoke route and get what i can one of the best things about this offense is this unbalanced formation look where you basically have a tight end here that's going to set this edge every single time so whether i want to run the speed option or i want to run the qb slot option like i am here i know that every single time i can hold the ball with the quarterback and i'm going to get this edge as i pitch it to the running back this time make a couple of guys miss and get a very big run play before i decide to run to the short side of the field and run the speed option on the next play with the same thought process but i pitched the ball a little bit too late now if this happens to you it's a real easy fix you can't pick up a fumble yourself so just use your the running back whoever's closest get them close to the ball and then click off and they'll typically pick up the ball but if you try to pick up this fumble by yourself you're never going to get it back ultimately though this does end the drive as it knocks me back to second and 26 and my opponent is now user blitzing off the edge forcing me out of the pocket every single time as we get a bad throw on the first play and on the next play we just don't hang on to it at the boundary so we decide to punt away just to play it safe but it's already the second quarter and i definitely don't want to be down two touchdowns to oklahoma and this defensive playbook luckily enough still has my nickel 3-3 mint cover 3 buzz mabel concept which is playing absolutely lights out as it looks like we're about to get a knockout on back-to-back -back plays, but he has such an overpowered running back that he just runs through all three of my tackle attempts for the first down when he probably shouldn't even have caught the ball. Bullshit. And after that, I'm surprised I even tackled him on the next play with one defender, as it clearly takes multiple defenders to tackle this guy. As on the next play, we hit him the second he catches the screen play, but he still gets a few yards. But luckily, third and five is long enough that he has to pass the ball. No! Before he tries to check it down to his running back one more time, but he's not going to save you this time, bro. Nope. On that first drop, I was playing a little bit too conservative with run plays and short passing, so I want to try to bomb it up on the next play. But my opponent has been user rushing off of this side pretty much every single time. Bruh. And I'm trying my best to slide protection so that the running back picks him up, but I just can't figure it out, or at least I didn't in this game. But that's not going to keep me from running this play. As anytime I read zone, I'm going to switch to the verticals play, and every one of these routes scores against something. The B receiver is going to score against cover two or cover six if it's the cover two side. The RB receiver is going to score against any cover four, and the A receiver is going to score against any cover three. But you really just have to watch for which receiver gets the most space once the play starts. As I roll towards the receivers and I see the B receiver receiver wide open and we punch it in for the score to tie the game back on defense he's just out there mossing me with superior talent but this defense is playing his heart out as we're getting a lot of great defensive plays before we get a sack to force him back to fourth and 26 but everybody in the college community seems to know how overpowered cover three match is and how they easily beat it with these wheel routes as he calls a very timely wheel switch play and beats me over the top for the score as he leaves me only 26 seconds left before half, but that's plenty of time with an offense this explosive. As I call the verticals on the next play, and we would have scored right there if I could have stepped up into the throw, as we still get a very big play. On the next play though, I make a bad read thinking that he's in man coverage, and I'm forced to take the check down. When I get back to the previous play screen, I see that he wasn't a cover four quarters, which is another very easy defense to beat. I just had the wrong play. So we're gonna go back to the verticals play, as this play here really doesn't need much setup, but if you custom stem the RB route up and you custom stem the A receiver down, down, a lot of times it will help these receivers get open that much faster as you can see the a receiver once again gets open right over the middle and we split the safeties for another easy touchdown to tie the game up with nine seconds left before half when it comes to running the verticals play, the only route that you really want to change is the running back. A lot of times I'll just put him on a simple five yard out route like this, as this route here really beats man or zone. It's all those routes pull all the zones back and we get a very easy first down underneath. But after that, he really starts spreading his defensive alignment. So anytime your opponent does this, you're going to once again just go to your inside handoff, which for me is the 0-1 trap. And you can see why I like this play, as it allows me to cut back towards all my blocking receivers as we get a very big play to get us out of field goal range. On the next play, I go back to the speed option but i find it's best to keep with the quarterback a lot of times as you can see we get another very big run before i see that he's running cover three zone so on the next play for my active play i picked the pa bubble which is not actually an rpo play as you only have the option to throw to the bubble but when i see he only has one defender out here it's a no-brainer as we now have two blockers that set up perfectly as i probably could have scored from anywhere there 
When I got back on defense though, I completely forgot that he scored the way that he did on the last drive. Oops. And he immediately goes right back to that exact same play. But hey, this is an offensive video anyway, right? God damn it! Back on defense, my opponent is trying everything under the sun as he rushes three on the next play and drops everybody back. So I just take off with the quarterback as his speed is probably the best thing about him. On the next play though, the reason I like the 0-1 trap is because this formation here a lot of times will spread the alignment to the point where there's no linebacker on the right side. If I were to run an inside zone here, I'd be running it directly at the only linebacker that's behind his defensive line, which is why I typically keep the 0-1 trap in my audibles. As you can see right here, this will allow me to go in the opposite direction of that linebacker and typically get outside behind my blocking receiver for another big carry and that's all this offense really is pounding the rock underneath and then throwing over the top as we see another zone coverage on the next play break yourself fool And it was probably a cover four because the cover four receiver gets wide open. Back on defense, we switch to a cover three shell in hopes that he keeps running that stupid wheel route. And sure enough, he does as we almost get an interception on the very next play. How about new? No? But no big deal though, as he tries something different on the next play, and we get an interception anyway. Gotcha, bitch! And return it in the field goal range, as all we really have to do is kick a field goal with three minutes left in the fourth quarter. But this is an offensive video, and I haven't really shown my man beating play yet out of the fake screen wheel, as he's in an obvious man coverage on the next play with three defenders front of three receivers and all i really have to do is put this rb receiver on a post as both the post and the wheel route will get open but the wheel route's much better and when this wheel route turns up the field you can see how easily it gets open against these type of coverages especially cover two man on the next play, I see man coverage once again with the three cornerbacks in front of the three receivers. And these fake routes here are called runoffs, and they'll pull back any man coverage to the point where I can easily get outside as I pitch to the running back and have another easy touchdown to take a two-touchdown lead. But the game's not over yet, as my opponent still has some time and is furiously trying to fight his way down the field, passing the entire way, and hanging on to every ball, because let's face it, that's what Oklahoma's doing today. But you can tell he doesn't have an answer for the current defenses I'm using as he's still trying that wheel route play and it's not working. As we get sacks on three straight plays, knocking him back to a fourth and 51. Damn! And I don't care what play he calls, he's not picking that up. <laughs> And from here, I start the drive by playing it pretty conservatively as the game's pretty much over. But I got nothing to lose, so when I see he's in a man coverage once again, we go right back to that fake screen wheel. And that's all she wrote. See ya! So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more from this offense, I did break down some of the run plays from a previous video. I'll have that pop up on screen now, so just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.